Hey guys, Mr. Creeper here for EmptyApartment.net with your video preview of Diablo 3. I just thought I'd put this together for you guys to give you a glimpse into the game if you haven't been able to play it yourself or catch one of our live streams. Uh, so to start off here, you will definitely notice the graphics. Um, I personally really like them. Uh, it's got the classic Diablo top-down view. And everything just fits well. The atmosphere, the look of the characters, uh, the animations. Uh, some of the uh, Demon Hunter ones are some of my favorite. Um, but uh, like I said, overall, it, it's a very nice looking game. Real clean. And so uh, this part here, I'm going through this, uh, this dungeon. Got to free some people. I actually already cleared out this level. I'm just using it to show you guys a little bit of the combat and whatnot. Uh, so the gameplay is very straightforward. It's uh, click to kill. You can set your action skills to left and right click here. And then you'll have your 1, 2, 3, and 4, uh, which you get to unlock as you level up. I'm actually only level 16 right now, so I don't have that fourth one unlocked yet. Uh, so you just go through, click, kill stuff, and loot. And that's pretty much the whole game, uh, which is crazy, because I mean, this game is extremely addictive. Check out a little bit of combat here. So as a, a demon hunter, I am a ranged character, so everything I do is uh, not as upfront as, say, empty characters the barbarian. Uh, you do have, ah, oh jeez, I believe it's five different character classes, barbarian, demon hunter, witch doctor, uh, wizard, and a monk, <laughs> uh, which is actually a, a cool class that I checked out, too. Uh, but yeah, like I said, combat is very straightforward. Uh, this is currently the normal difficulty. So everything is extremely easy. Uh, I hear that once you get up to Inferno and the higher levels, it does get pretty challenging, especially with the uh, gold and blue monsters. Uh, you can uh, really get yourself into a lot of trouble if you're not picking up the health globes here. Um, so yeah, like I said, that's pretty much it. Kill stuff, pick up gold, pick up loot. Uh, pretty straightforward. You get quite a few enemies on screen from time to time, which uh, keeps it fun. These guys out here. As you can see, I do have quite a few different uh, attacks already, uh, which you unlock by leveling up. And let's take a look at the skills here. Oh, this guy off. So you unlock different skills. You have your uh, primary, secondary, and then four other different action bar skills. These you can actually switch around if you unlock it through the options menu. So you'll be able to unlock different skills, and on top of that, you have runes that you can use on these. And these will augment your skills. Uh, like my entangling shot that I use, which slows your enemies, you can uh, actually set up so it hits more than two targets. It'll actually hit four for you. That's usually the one that I run with. Um, you also have passive skills, which give you different bonuses to, uh, to your stats or different stuff like um, immobilizing your targets. So there's a lot of options here for customization. Um, <laughs> Hey, there's Goro. He says hi. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do with your customization, and it does help the uh, characters seem different uh, as far as the classes go. And each class actually feels really different, too, which uh, I do like. Each class seems to be its own, and it makes for some very gameplay. So when you get into groups with other, other people, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, what you can do on the fly, you can just go here, pull up your uh, social list, and invite to party, or uh, if they're in an open group, you should be able to join their join their party as well. You can also take a look at their heroes. Let's check out Goro's. And he is in full pink gear. Wow. Awesome. Um, so yeah, that's like I said, it's, it's very basic gameplay. It's just oddly addicting. Something about grinding out that loot. Um, which I'll pull up here for you. Uh, here's your character menu. You can see the details on your stats right here, which is uh, does get pretty detailed. And then your loot. The blue is your magical items. Uh, the gold is your rare. And then you also unlock orange, which is legendary, and green, which would be your... Uh, those are actually sets. Um, so you'll have your different stats, such as uh, poison, frost damage, fire damage, you, uh, additions to your dexterity, strength, uh, you can also leech life, increases your gold find, your magic find, all kinds of different stuff you can unlock, which is uh, really what this game's all about, is just finding that loot. Um, and that pretty much covers it, guys. As I said, 
Diablo is oddly simple yet oddly addicting. Uh, if you guys have noticed, Empty has been playing quite a bit. Uh, he usually stays up pretty late, later than he should play. So right now I'm just leveling up my uh, Demon Hunter here, uh, little by little. I do get sidetracked a lot with it. There's a lot of side stuff, so I'm not as high level as everybody else. Um, I do also have a level 20 Witch Doctor, which I checked out, which is pretty cool, and the Monk. Uh, but as I said, all the classes seem pretty sweet. And, um, yeah, that about covers it, guys. Uh, as I said, this is just a quick preview for you guys to check it out. Um, I will actually be hopefully doing a review of this if I, uh, if I do get it finished in a reasonable, reasonable time here. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Diablo 3. Definitely worth your time. Even from the bit that I've played, I've really come to enjoy the game. So definitely check it out if you guys get a chance. Uh, I'm pretty sure Empty will be streaming it from time to time. So check out our live stream for that at EmptyApartment.net. And thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.